he was my best friend. You know, we did everything together. The Nickel family sits together. He would have been 28 in March. One member notably missing. I loved it when he would call me mom or mama. I really miss hearing his voice. I call his voicemail a lot. It's hard for them to describe what they felt the moment they found out that brother, son, and husband Cade Nickel had been killed on January 8th. News they say they heard from the Prineville Police Facebook page. I was the first one to know. I completely fell to the ground and felt very destroyed. Cade was a father of three, building a life with his wife Kayleen of five years. Very good dad. He's a very good provider for his children. He could have taught them a lot of things. Flashback to that night when the family says he was invited over to the apartment of his former best friend. They knew each other very well. The Our whole family took him in as family. A friend he'd fallen out with several months before. The family believes he texted Cade that day, inviting him over to make amends before the funeral of a mutual friend. Then an argument, a gunshot, Cade's death. And a month later, the shooter still free with no charges filed against him. The Nickel family stays in contact with police, their frustration growing every day. It doesn't make any sense to us with what information we've been able to find and get. Why? Why he hasn't been arrested. Why he's not in jail right now for taking a life. Crook County District Attorney Carrie Haythorn tells us a grand jury will look into the case soon, saying, We recognize the impact the pending investigation has on all the parties involved and are committed to concluding the investigation and submitting the case to a grand jury as soon as possible. Until then, the Nickel family waits together, clinging to the memories of the man they lost. He had an amazing laugh and um, the biggest smile. I mean, his smile could light up the room. Sitting with questions still unanswered. I can't sleep. Sometimes I think I see him. But it's not him. It just gets harder. He was not perfect. Lord knows he's not perfect. He was also very loving. He was mine. He was my son. He was my son that got taken away. Carly Olson, Central Oregon Daily News.